loves this state so much. You will be, seriously, you will be so proud of her. A vote? Thank you. <laughs> she said, I'm proud of you, too. A vote? That's right. People always said, oh, this is going to be an easy job. Nothing easy about it, folks. That's right. Nothing easy. But we love it. You know why we love it? They just asked me recently, do you like it? It's hard. I said, it's only hard because I choose to work 24 hours a day. I could make it easy. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. But you know why I love it? Because we are accomplishing so much far greater than anybody ever thought, including them. And they give us credit for it. They happen. They happen. A vote for a Republican Congress is a vote for more jobs, more wealth, and more products made right here in the USA. That's what we want. Remember? It's a vote to respect our laws and respect the heroes of law enforcement. And a vote for Republicans is a vote to reject the Democrat politics of hatred, anger, and division, and to celebrate the greatness and the glory of being an American. And it is. It's great and it's glorious. Loyal citizens like you help build this country, and together we are taking back our country, returning power to you, the American people, and that's happening. From Phoenix to Flagstaff, from Mesa to Yuma, to the Red Rocks of Sedona, this great state was settled by some of the toughest men and toughest and most beautiful women ever to walk the face of the earth. Now they're going to say tomorrow, he called women beautiful. Isn't that terrible? It'll be, Trump calls women beautiful. You're beautiful. You are beautiful. Beautiful. You always were and you always will be. That is funny. I'm thinking, I'm just watching this. I think we got him. I think we got him. I think we got him. You're beautiful. Arizona is where Wyatt Earp became a legend. Where the American West became the American dream. And where generations of farmers, ranchers, pioneers, and soldiers used their own two hands to build a life and to build a home. They didn't have a lot of money. They didn't have a lot of luxury. But they all had one thing in common. They loved their families. They loved their country. And they loved their God.